السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وكنتني إن شاء الله تعالى وصورة المرسلات and uh, with uh, verses 38 all the way to the end إن شاء الله to verse number 50 from 38 to verse number 50 and we ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to give us sincerity and to make us among the people of Al-Quran. We'll start inshallah ta'ala with the recitation. Verse 38, Surah Al-Mursalat, Surah number 77. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan yabrajim. هذا يوم الفصل جمعناكم والأولين فإن كان لكم كيد فكيدون ويل يومئذ للمكذبين إن المتقين في ظلال وعيون وفواكه مما يشتهون كلوا واشربوا هنيئا بما كنتم تعملون إنا كذلك نجزي المحسنين ويل يومئذ للمكذبين كلوا وتمتعوا قليلا إنكم مجرمون ويل يومئذ للمكذبين وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ ارْكَعُوا لَا يَرْكَعُونَ وَيْلٌ يَوْمَئِذٍ لِلْمُكَذِّبِينَ فَبِأَيِّ حَدِيثٍ بَعْدَهُ يُؤْمِنُونَ هذا يوم لا ينطقون إخفاء and it's heavy sound because of the ta ينطقون ولا يؤذن لهم فيعتذرون <تصفيق> فيعتذرون ويل ويل يومئذ للمكذبين هذا يوم الفصل جمعناكم والأولين فإن كان اتخفاء فإن كان لكم كيد اخفاء كيد فكيدون ويل يومئذ للمكذبين إن نون شد تكست كونس إن المتقين في ضي ضي ظلال ظلال وعيون and the عين has a ضم عو وعيون وفواكه مما يشتهون من مسد كلوا واشربوا هني for the five counts هني أم that meme sound because of the club بما كنتم تعملون إن نون السد كذلك نجا قلقلة نجزي المحسنين ويل يومئذ للمكذبين 
And as you see here, the first, as mentioned before, wailoi, two counts. But then the second one, there's no gunna. Wailoi yawma idhillil mukadzibi. You don't stay in the lamp. Kulu wa tamatta'u qalilan innakum. Nunu shadda. Innakum two memes. Muja. Jim kalqala. Mujirimun. Wailoi yawma idhillil mukadzibin. Wa idha qila lahumur. Ra is heavy. Wa idha qila lahumur ka'u la yarka'un. Wailoi yawma idhillil mukadzibin. فبأي حديث use the meme sound بعده يؤمنون هذا يوم لا ينطقون that will be a day when they shall not speak this is again referring to what's mentioned before انطلقوا إلى ما كنتم به تكذبون when they will be told to proceed to go to what they used to deny which is the hellfire so now saying here to the disbelievers it will be said to them uh, or be said, This is a day they won't be able to speak. And this great day, the day of judgment, that really it occupies the life of the believers. This is the the constant thinking of the day of judgment in every speech, in every action we do. We need to always think of the hereafter. And uh, this is the reality of this life. So in a pleasant way, so that we are always sincerely doing things for the sake of Allah, following the way of the Prophet ﷺ. So uh, those who deny the Day of Judgment, they won't even speak. And nobody will speak on the Day of Judgment except by the permission of Allah. And they won't be given any permission uh, for them to... Uh, I think we talked about that yesterday. So that they won't be having any... Uh, you know, ways to apologize, to regret, no permission whatsoever. Uh, this is what we uh, had today. This is the day of Al Fasl. This is the day of Al Fasl, which is the day of decision. We have uh, brought you and the men of old together. It is, this is the day of Al-Fasl. Al-Fasl is the day of decision, the day of uh, judgment that everyone is gathered. جمعناكم. We gathered you. Uh, and the old and the first of all of you from the time of Adam السلام, all the way till the last person on the face of earth. All of them will be resurrected. All of them will be gathered. And Al-Fasl is for the decision to be made, to be made for the muhsineen, for the good doors, versus the evil doors. If you have a plot, use it against, uh, basically the verse is saying against me, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you have any plots that they used to, used to plot in this dunya, in this worldly life, against the, against the believers, thinking that they could uh, even plot against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and against the will of Allah. That's how ignorant they were on the face of earth. So it will be said to them, فَإِنْ كَانَ لَكُمْ كَيْدِ If you have any kaid, any plot, any evil uh, plan that you have, فكيدون, go against the will of Allah then on that day. They cannot flee away from the day of resurrection. They cannot deceive Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They cannot save themselves by lying as they used to lie in this life. And as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Rahman, Ya ma'ashar al-jinni wal-insi in istata'atum an tanfudhu min akutari samawati wal-ardi fanfudhu la tanfudhuna illa bi sultan. Oh, the jinn and mankind, if you're able to uh, go away from the dominion of the heavens and the earth, go ahead. You won't be able to do that except by the authority of Allah. So that means... No one can do anything. Nobody can harm Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nobody can run away from that day. فَإِنْ كَانَ لَكُمْ كَيْدٌ فَكِيدُونَ وَيْلُ يَوْمَئِذٍ لِلْمُكَذِّبِينَ Woe on that day to the deniers. As it's repeated throughout the surah. To, uh, as, as we see, this is one of the objectives of the surah. It is for those who deny the day of judgment, this is what's going to be said to them. This is what they're going to see in the day of judgment. 
in al muttaqina fi dhilal wa uyun after mentioning the affairs of the disbelievers those who disbelieved in the day of judgment allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then gives towards the end of the surah the reward for the muttaqin and he mentioned them by their characteristics that indeed al muttaqin those who fear allah those who are dutiful to allah those who worshiped allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by fulfilling the wajibat the obligations and they stayed away from al muharramat from the sinful acts and they repented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always, they will be in the day of judgment fi ظِلَالٍ وَعُيُون ظِلَال And we talked about uh, that before, that uh, the disbelievers will be under the shade or the, 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 of, the, of the smoke, which is the hellfire. لَا ظَلِيل There is no shade for them really, but for the muttaqin, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said they will be in ظِلَال under shade. وعيون and springs of water that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make that shade for them opposite to what the wretched ones will be in the shade of the hellfire the believers will have the, the most pleasant shade that nobody can even comprehend and as we know that in the day of judgment the believers will be under the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, as seven types of people as the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam mentioned وعيون the springs of water, which with all kinds of pleasant things as it's mentioned throughout the Qur'an. وَفَوَاكِهَ مِمَّا يَشْتَهُونَ And فَوَاكِهَ And fruits, uh, what, as they desire. وَفَوَاكِهَ مِمَّا يَشْتَهُونَ And فَوَاكِهَ or the fruits comes from anything that is pleasant. So, and of course, again, in the Jannah, there's no eyes have seen, the like of it, no ears have heard, no hearts have ever imagined. But with that, when the believers, they enter Jannah, they recognize everything the same way they recognized it in this dunya, in this world. So when they see the pomegranate, pomegranates, for example, in Jannah, which is nothing as the like of it, but they would recognize it as pomegranate, pomegranate as they used to have it in this world, and so on. So, the best of the fruits, whatever they desire, no limits. كُلُوا وَاشْرَبُوا هَنِيئًا بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ كُلُوا وَاشْرَبُوا Eat and drink. هَنِيئًا Comfortably with all kinds of pleasant feelings uh, for that which you used to do. So this is a recompense for them. كُلُوا وَاشْرَبُوا This is uh, a command, not in a way that uh, is a must on them. This is like eat and drink, enjoy. هَنِيئًا الْهَنَاءَ is when someone is given something without any uh, uh, evil outcome without any disturbances you know when you eat and drink in this world can you apply this in this life eat and drink whatever you want no there is haram there is things that are forbidden for you to eat or drink even though this is not the norm is only counted things but you have to be watchful of that by being obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and even the mubah even what's permissible for us to eat and drink can we just eat and drink without any limits no we would hurt ourselves physically and we would fall into excessiveness which is also forbidden in the deen in the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so in the day of judgment you know it will be said to them eat and drink no matter how much you eat no matter what you eat everything is pleasant and it doesn't have the uh, the sickness or the or the disturbances that a person what might have in this world Hani and this is what Hani and is no deficiency, no weakness, nothing whatsoever, and it's for an everlasting life, no end to it whatsoever. All of that is bima kuntum ta'malun by what you used to do. This is your actions. This is the results of your actions, and that's how it shows that the actions in this world are the means for all of the delight in the hereafter, or the or the opposite, as it's mentioned with regards to the deniers of the truth, the disbelievers. So therefore, as a rule here, as Imam al-Sa'di rahimahullah, he mentions it, he said, وَهَكَذَا كُلُّ مَنْ أَحْسَنَ فِي عِبَادَةِ اللَّهِ وَأَحْسَنَ إِلَى عِبَادِ اللَّهِ This uh, goodness and the delight that they receive in the Day of Judgment, this is the case for everyone that Ahsan did the best and did good in the worship of Allah and did good to the ibad of Allah, to the creation of Allah. So the rights of Allah are fulfilled in a, in a, with Ihsan, with goodness, and the rights of the human beings, dealing with the human beings with goodness. This is how they reach this high level of delight. This is how we recompense 
the muhsineen, the good doers. So this is the reward of the good doers. Uh, and the recompense is by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna kathalika najizi al-muhsineen. And al-muhsineen, al-ihsan as we all know, is to worship Allah as if you see Allah. And if you don't see Allah, you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is seeing you. But then right after that it says, وَيْلُ يَوَائِذِ لِلْمُكَذِّبِينَ Woe on that day for the deniers. And if it, if it wasn't, as Imam al-Sa'di rahimahullah gives a beautiful meaning here, that comes after, إِنَّ كَذَلِكَ نَجِذِ الْمُحْسِنِينَ This is how we recompense the good doers. And then right after that it says, Woe to the, on that day to the deniers. Uh, which he says if there was no uh, uh, evil or punishment for the disbelievers in the day of judgment except that they will be deprived from this delight that is mentioned this is sufficient deprivation and loss for them right so and you can imagine that they're not just deprived from the the jannah of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the pleasant things in it they will be in an everlasting <clears throat> punishment in the hellfire. So uh, the punishment is uh, the, the the judgment, the justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon them. إِنَّ كَذَلِكَ نَجْزِ الْمُحْسِنِينَ وَيْلُ يَوْمَئِذٍ لِلْمُكَذِّبِينَ كُلُوا وَتَمَتَّعُوا قَلِيلًا إِنَّكُمْ مُجْرِمُونَ Now here, كُلُوا وَتَمَتَّعُوا Eat and enjoy yourselves. Meaning in this worldly life, for a little while. Verily, you are mujrimun. Now, the verse is addressing the criminal ones, the evil ones. After it says what's going to be said to the believers in the Day of Judgment, Kulu washrabu, eat and drink honey and comfortably with all kinds of delight. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing the disbelievers in this world. Kulu, eat, eat, do whatever you want. And this is a warning in itself. It's not approving for them to eat whatever they want. It's not approving for them to enjoy themselves in a sinful way. It's warning. It's like when you say to someone when they don't listen to what you want them to do or so you, even sometimes you would say that to your child, do whatever you want. You're not approving what they are doing, but you know it's they're not listening. So uh, this is a warning uh, for the deniers of the truth. That kulu watamatta'u eat watamatta'u and al-mata'a is the temporary enjoyment. So it's not going to be forever the way that it is in the Day of Judgment. So therefore, uh, the believers are wise. They know that no matter how much joy that we, they would receive in this world, it's not going to be forever. And we don't have to think too far. Think of a, of a vacation that you went to or a day that you had so much fun or pleasant things that you did and you were so happy and pleased. Right? The day that you thought that you're not going to make it for to pass an exam and you received the first honor or whatever. Right, imagine, you know something significant in one's life, right? And it's it's gone. It's not there anymore, right? So this is how life is. So uh, then, don't really uh, be among those who they just live the moment and that's it. That life is just about living the moment that they're in. So they keep on going from one moment to the other, and there's no objective in 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 the life. And uh, the believers, the moment that they live is for the sake of Allah, seeking rewards from Allah in the hereafter so that it's not lost. Even if they do permissible things, it's done in the proper context. They're fulfilling the obligations, they're staying away from haram, so the permissible things becomes also a rewardable act for them. Qalilan, qalilan it's a little while. And the entire world is qalil. The entire, not like it's only for specific people that they would enjoy only little and some would enjoy a lot. No, it's every single human being. So the richest man on the face of earth, the happiest physically happy uh, man on the face of earth from the day he was born till he, the moment he dies and he lived for 100 years, all of that enjoyment is very little, very small. Why? Because when he dies, it's an everlasting life. So, كُلُوا وَتَمَتَّعُوا قَلِيلًا إِنَّكُمْ مُجْرِمُونَ Indeed, you are mujrimun. You are criminals. So, what is going to benefit you? Nothing whatsoever. وَيْلُوا يَوْمَئِذِ لِلْمُكَذِّبِينَ Woe on that day to the mukathibin, to the deniers, after mentioning all of these ayat and all of what's going to happen to them. And then the last verse, وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ ارْكَعُوا The last verse is, وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ ارْكَعُوا لَا يَرْكَعُونَ 
And if they, uh, when it is said to them, bow down yourself in prayer, make rukur, make salah, they bow not down, that means they don't make salah. And uh, this is how they deny the truth. So if they are commanded to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator of the heavens and the earth, they turn away with arrogance and they don't do it. And al-ka'u here is not just the ruku'ah. You cannot just make ruku'ah. Ruku'ah is when you make that one position in salah uh, after standing. And it's in the Quran, the commands of making sujood, of making ruku'ah, it refers to the salah itself. So because there's nothing in the deen of Allah where you just make ruku'ah. There is sujood of shukr. The sujood of being grateful, the sujood of tilawa. But there's no sujood by itself. If you want to make sujood to Allah, you feel like humbling yourself and prostrating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, make two raka'ah of salah, and in the salah make sujood. You would make sujood. But you don't just decide, I want to make sujood, and you make sujood. Why? Because this is not the way of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We follow him. The same thing with the ruku'ah. But what it's mentioned like that in the Quran, it refers to the salah. So, وَإِذَا قِيلَهُمُ الْكَعُوا If it was said to them, make salah. But, and it's also the significance of mentioning irka'u. You know, when you, when you uh, advise someone, a Muslim, not making salah, you tell them pray, right? But they, sometimes they don't get the essence of what you're saying. So when, when something like that is mentioned, you know, if you go to someone and he's not making salah whatsoever, you tell him, make sujood to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prostrate, humble yourself to the creator of the heavens and the earth. That's something that should touch the heart that has still some life in it. If the heart has still some life of al-iman and faith in it, that would affect the heart. You're not just telling that person to make some movement, standing and bowing and sujood. You're saying to that person to prostrate to the creator of the heavens and earth. Humble yourself to the one that created you and provides for you, uh, which shows how ignorant and ungrateful the human beings when they do not bow down to the creator of the heavens and the earth and humble themselves to the creator of the heavens and the earth. So, and it shows in the ayah how evil the human beings are. وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ And if it was said to them, ركعوا, Bow yourself in humbleness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لا يركعون. They do not make salah. They do not bow down to the creator of the heavens and the earth. So, as the Imam Mustadi rahimahullah, he said, فَأَيُّ إِجْرَامٍ فَوْقَ هَذَا what more criminal act than this? Is there any bigger crime than this? This is the biggest crime on the face of earth. When someone does not prostrate and worship the creator of the heavens and the earth, and what is more of a, of a denying the truth than this? So when someone refuses to worship the creator of the heavens and the earth, what is a, a bigger crime than that? And that's why we have to, this is an act of worship also as a benefit of these verses, that we have to have that level of, uh, of effect in our hearts with these verses. It should, not, it should have an effect in the heart. To exalt what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exalts, to belittle what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala belittled and so on. Then the last ayah, Woe on that day to the deniers. Uh, and uh, it shows that you know the, the 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 warning against them when they when they refused uh, the the truth, and this is the last time that this verse is repeated in the surah. So that brings all of what is mentioned before, and all of the verses that talked about woe to them. It's all also contained in that last one because that's the last one in the surah. Then the last verse, فَبِ أَيِّ حَدِيثٍ بَعْدَهُ يُؤْمِنُونَ, which means. That then in what statement after this will they believe? After all of what is mentioned, the entire Quran and in the surah, what other speech they would then believe if they hear it? You know, they uh, they deny the truth. The evidence is against them, is established one verse after the other. All of their shubuhat, all of their doubts have been refuted and answered clearly. All the evidence for the, that they need. So there's nothing left. Meaning, it's their arrogance, it's their stubbornness. So what can you tell someone if the light of the sun is not sufficient for him to see what's in front of him? He's blind. You cannot do anything to him. So the same thing for those who are blind away from the truth. So, But still, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the Prophet ﷺ to convey the message to them 
and not to give up on and calling them to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as long as a person is alive, we don't know who's going to be guided. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. It was said that uh, when a Bedouin uh, uh, was reciting, uh, or he, um, uh, and a, a Bedouin, he said that he heard Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, uh, that he says, you know, um, uh, that he when he recited فَبِأَيَّ حَدِيثٍ بَعْدَهُ يُؤْمِنُونَ That he would say, أَمَنْتُ بِاللَّهِ وَبِمَا أَنزَلْ That this is something that you can say, like at the end of Surah Tittin or so, that you say, I believe in Allah in what, in what, uh, and in what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought down. So uh, this is uh, permissible since it's uh, also mentioned in other verses of the Qur'an. As we see here, um, the, the 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 words of the of, of what we heard, uh, going back, الفصل, this is the day of al-fasl, and al-fasl, as we said, is the judgment from fa sad lam, and al-fasl is separation between two things. That's why the same word is used for chapters in a book, you know. And there's fasl al-khitab, uh, uh, al is the weaning of a child because he's detached from uh, being breastfed. And uh, the tafsil is the details after something is mentioned in general. Uh, as in Surah Yusuf, when the ir, when the caravan detached, meaning start the journey, departed. So all of that is uh, the meaning of it. So al-fasl is when something is made very clear. A decision is made that would untangle things, would make things very clear, detaching things from one another. al-fasl. Jama'anakum, uh, we gathered you. The kaf meme at the end, uh, you, the plural, and noon alif is we. So jama' gathered. So we have uh, gathered you, jama'anakum, wal awalin, and al awalin, al awalin from awal, the first, and the first, the former people, the first people. Uh, then it says, fa'in kana lakum kaid. So if kana, if there is lakum for you any kaid, kaid is a plan. In the meaning a plot from Kaf Ya Del. Uh, the Kaid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the plan of Allah is very strong that would uh, overpower and encompass all of the evil plots of the disbelievers and the evildoers. And as Hud alayhi salam, uh, he said to his people, All of you plot against me and don't wait. Because he relied upon Allah. Fakidun, then kidun, then plot against me if you can. So this is this fa is the is the answer to the conditional. If then kidun kiduni, it's supposed to be kiduni, but it's then since it's the the conditional statement uh, after it's established, then it's to remove the the harf of al illah here. Fakidun. وَيْلُ يَوْمَئِذِ لِلْمُكَذِّبِينَ Woe on that day to the deniers, as mentioned before. إِنَّ الْمُتَّقِينَ Indeed the mutaqin from well qafiya those who shielded themselves on the punishment of Allah. فِي ظِلَالٍ And we talked about ظِلَال before from ضَاءَ لَامْ لَامْ Shades. فِي ظِلَالٍ وَعُيُونَ And springs. عَيْنْ يَأْنُونَ And عَيْنْ is the eyes, and that's how the springs are. They look like that, a circle. وَفَوَاكِهِ from فَاء كَافْ هَاء anything pleasant which he refers to the fruits مِمَّا يَشْتَهُونَ from what they desire from شِينْ هَاء وَاو and a shahwa is the desire and sometimes it's mentioned in the context that it's evil if it's sinful desire then here whatever a person desires meaning in the day of judgment all of that is permissible for them وَفَوَاكِهِ مِمَّا يَشْتَهُونَ كُلُوا from Alif Kaf Lam, which means eat, washrabu, and drink from Sheen Ra Ba Shariba, Hani uh, and comfortably with lots of satisfaction from Ha Noon Alif. This is the root of it, Ha Noon Alif. And it's anything that has no uh, difficulty or tiredness or, or anything. Like when you uh, you say to someone when he drank, when you invite someone to eat or something, you say Hani and Maria. Hani'an Mari'a Hani'an Which means uh, Have it in a pleasant way So that it doesn't Have any bad effect on you To be blessed To be blessed with it Kulu wa shrabu hani'an Bima aslaftum fil ayam al khaliya And it's um, You know So this is Hani'an Bima kuntum For what Used to, That you used to Ta'amaloon From amal from, Used to do 
إن كذلك indeed we thus كذلك نجزي reward the recompense from جيم زي ياء الجزاء is the recompense إن كذلك نجزي المحسنين the good doers from حسن ح سين نون ويل يومئذ للمكذبين و on that day to the deniers كلوا again eat وتمتعوا and enjoy yourself from ميم تاء عين as we said ال ال It's something temporary, and it's usually actually it comes from when, uh, when the plant it get um, uh, raised or elevated in the in the very first stages of its growth, right? So this is temporary. This is the, uh, the, the something that is not forever. كل وتمتعوا in the plural tense قليلا very little, which is from قاف لام لا. لام إنكم مجرمون indeed you are criminals from جيم مراء ميم ويل يومئذ للمكذبين وو on that day to the مكذبين to the deniers and uh, وإذا and when قيل when it is said in the passive tense from قاف وو لام لهم to them اركعوا from ركعة بعو لا يركعون they do not make ركوع and the وو نون at the end for the plural ويل يومئذ للمكذبين فبأي then in what فاء then باء and then أي is the question letter فبي أي then in what حديث uh, statement or speech or from حاء دل uh, بعده after it after what's been mentioned and after the Quran the hat refers to the Quran or to what has been mentioned in the surah يؤمنون uh, will they believe from ألف ميم نون so we ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى Uh, to make us benefit from what we heard. And that's the end of the surah. And of course, there's great benefits in these verses and in the entire surah. But we'll, because of the time, we'll do that, inshallah ta'ala. Tomorrow, the benefits from surah and mursalat. And if you have any questions in the surah, also we can do that tomorrow, inshallah. And uh, again, we're going in a very short pace every verse, every day, few verses. So we should try our best, inshallah ta'ala, to memorize while we're going through it, inshallah. Barakallahu feekum. طيب وصلى الله وسلم على محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله